Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Obviously, I'm on the road. At least the sun's out, so that's gonna make this drive pleasant, because this is gonna be a whirlwind couple of days. I mean, they always are, but like today, I'm already, right now I'm about 11 minutes behind schedule. So I'm supposed to be there at 10, and I'm not gonna get there until at least 10 after, 11 after. Well, an unexpected turn of events. I was diverted off the highway in a rather long line of backup, and I scanned ahead on the app and saw that there was an even larger line of backup way ahead, thus the app taking me off the highway. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, 40 minutes now from, from getting to my next meeting, provided nothing else happens. And I just wanted to take a moment to tell you that this is life on the road. Ugh, dumb monkey wasn't paying attention to how little gas he had in his forerunner. So I passed up enough gas stations for this to be one of those total dumbass monkey moments. I didn't realize how little gas I had. I haven't been paying attention. So I clicked on the little display button to see what range I still had left. Well, I pert near shit myself when I clicked on the damn thing and it popped up and said I had one mile worth of range. And I looked down and realized that that it was a lot emptier than I thought it was. Not only that, but then when I realized where I was, which was the middle of freaking nowhere, and I pulled up Google Maps to find out the closest gas station, the closest gas station was 10 miles away. Yeah, 10 miles, and the range was telling me I had a mile. There's not even anywhere for me to pull off on the side of the road in some of these spots. Like, I've got to think about when I should stop. Don't know how. I'm guessing that when they put the range on there, that they sort of build in a little bit of a fail-safe so that dumbasses like me that push it to the friggin' limit actually still have some gas in the tank when they get there. I ended up getting to the gas station and I pumped 20.7 gallons. I have a 19 gallon tank, I think. <laughs> like, I, that has to, actually be the closest I've ever come to running out of gas. So yeah, okay, do yourselves a favor, kids. Don't wait till the last freaking fume to get gas in your vehicle. Or don't hit the fucking dog that just ran across the road. There's another one on that side of the road. Jesus Christ. Okay, I get it. Stop it. Okay, now I need to get my heart beating again. Holy shit. That's all I need to do is kill a fucking dog. Okay. I'm going to stop. I need to listen to some music because I'm freaking out now. Uh, okay. So I don't even know what time it is. It, it's, I think, a little bit before nine. And I'm at my hotel outside of Richmond. And let me tell you, what a freaking day. And now I'm going to go chode my ass on this cou uh, couch, on the, the bed, and I'm just going to chill out tonight. So, yeah, it, it's been a rough day. I'm done. And tomorrow I have two meetings early morning, and then I'm driving back to Virginia Beach. See you in the morning. Okay, good morning, kids. What day is it? Wednesday morning, and I'm about to leave for my meetings. I'm still in the hotel room. Just thought I'd show you the view. This is considered room with a lake view. Let's hit the road. We're going to VB Flea. It's like 60 something degrees out, so it's pretty awesome. It kind of feels like it might rain, but it's not supposed to rain until late tonight. So either way, let's go to the Flea. Okay. So here we are. We came down to VB Flea, last one of the year. And we're going to- It's gonna... December. Yes, and so you know- this is the last one of the year. Shorts and a t-shirt, except I'm not in shorts, but it's a little chilly out because there's no sun and it's always windy down here. But we are going to go to the bakery now to get her bread and probably dessert because we're fatties. We got our boosters yesterday. So I went out and bought like 60 bucks worth of soup and juice and all that stuff for us to have because we were 
thought maybe, okay. yeah, we might be bad today and neither one of us feels any really adverse effect. I feel as shitty as I usually do, so it doesn't count. But she hasn't had any effect from any of the three shots she got. I had problems with the first two, nothing major, but this time I'm perfectly fine. Okay, kids, it has been a whirlwind week. It's Saturday, it's about 20 after four. It's actually been a pretty busy day too. But that's kind of how this entire week has been. It's been nonstop and just full of all kinds of like, ah, kind of moments, as you've seen. I'm glad that things are winding down now, technically, for day job. And this week is only a three-day week, but it's going to be a busy three days because I kind of have a lot to do to sort of wrap my year up so that I don't have to do as much on that last week of December because I took the entire week off. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward up.